Hi Libra, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a general love reading for March 2022. This is for any Libra looking for any guidance and messages in love. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other readings coming up for you soon. All right, guys, we're going to start off with one card here from Doreen Virtue's Love Oracle deck, and then we're going to do nine cards from the Rider Waite deck and one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. So what do we have for Libra? Let's see what the universe has for Libra. What does Libra need to know for their general love life? All right, here we go. We have Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Great. So it's a very flirty energy for you coming up this spring, right? How nice is that? I'm going to shuffle a little bit more, Libra, just so you know that there's no shady business going on here. Thanks for joining me tonight. It's always a pleasure. And... Let's see what's coming up for you. Oh, it's just a bad shuffling job today. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to shuffle a little bit more, and we're going to cut the deck, Libra. And let's begin with your reading. Okay, so Libra, we're going to draw three cards for past energy. First card, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Next card, we have the Six of Swords. And lastly, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so right off the bat, Libra, in your past energy, you could be dealing with a Taurus here with the Hierophant, or you could also be dealing with the Page of Swords, which is an air sign. So uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And we also have the Six of Swords, so it could be air for sure. doesn't have to be any of these signs you're dealing with. This is just for some of you, all right? So in the past... Also, if we're going to read this as an energy, a lot of you have um, either been out of a marriage or a relationship or something that was serious. For some of you, you were acting out. Um, uh, there could have been some cheating or something going on, uh, but some sort of disloyalty even. I'm not seeing uh, it being you, but something about having to leave a situation, okay, because of what went on here. Something went on between two people, could be a marriage, could be a relationship, right? So you've had to extend your ways, move forward, and off into a new direction for yourself, mentally, okay? And then we have the Page of Swords. So a lot of you could have moved on to a new person, and this person, yes, could be an air sign. They could be someone younger. They could be someone very vibrant, very chatty, and very intelligent. They have a good sense of humor, but someone a bit more inexperienced in a sense, okay? They could also be uh, in their studies as well for some of you who are younger. This person is beginning a new job or also starting something new in their lives. So... What does that have to do with you, though? Have you been coming towards this person? Have you thought about this new person? And where did you come from when you left your situation? Was it a marriage for some of you? Was it a really a committed relationship? Or have a lot of you given up on the idea of marriage here with the Hierophant in reverse? And you're moving towards something a little bit more freeing with the Page of Swords, which is typically maybe for some of you, someone who's a little bit uh, got more energy and uh, younger than you than normally what, than what you're used to. Okay, let's take a look at your present energy, Libra. We have here the Two of Cups. Then we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands. So Libra, right off the bat with the Two of Cups here, there is a connection between you and someone else. And this could definitely be soulmate energy, someone who's destined to be with you. Could be a really good union. You guys could have a very good bond between the two of you. Okay. There is something going on now that 
someone's holding back on something, someone's holding on to an idea of something, or someone's holding on to something uh, physical, okay? I don't know what it is, but a lot of you are holding on to something here. And there could be a fire sign involved, of course. So a lot of you Libras who are single can be flirting with multiple people, okay? You could be dealing with an air sign here, but then you can also be dealing with a fire sign. The air sign could definitely be your energy as well. So you could be beginning in a new adventure here. And this fire sign here can definitely be someone that you're dealing with right now, okay? And that would be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. So... Be mindful here with the Four of Pentacles. There's something going on about someone holding on to something and not letting go. And it's creating some sort of boundary or wall between uh, this connection between the two of you. Let's figure out what it is exactly will be happening for you with this person coming up in the near future, okay? So, we have the Devil. All right. Next card, we have the King of Wands in reverse. And same thing with the fire sign again, right, Libra? And lastly, we have the death card in reverse. Wow. So, you're going to be tempted. You're going to be flirty. You're going to be a bit of uh, a player, that type of energy coming up for you. And you're going to like it. You're going to enjoy it. And a lot of you will be in that energy for a while. Now, with the King of Wands here in reverse, a lot of you may be uh, turning uh, an opportunity down by someone. Okay? There could be an energy of you not taking anything too seriously or not willing to go and make anything, any big plans with any individuals or even traveling for some of you. Okay? Now, the death is in reverse here, so it could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. It could also be Capricorn here with the devil. But this death in reverse is a sign that there is a part of you still. could be this Four of Pentacles energy that you're holding on to. But there needs to be a renewal for you and an old way of doing things ending. And it's as if you haven't fully learned your lesson here. And there's still uh, a bit of ways to go for you. Okay? So, you know, you're going to maybe stay in this flirty energy. You're going to be a little bit of a flirt. And you're going to enjoy yourself. And you know you're going to have a good time for a lot of you. Uh, and this will eventually be a stage in your life before you can go through the death card. Okay? Okay? But right now, there's a lot of delays here with this kind of transformation for yourself. So you're probably going to be in this energy for a bit, which is fine, okay? All right, let's take a look at the advice card at the bottom of the deck for you. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. So Libra, a lot of you will be enjoying yourselves. You're going to be living out the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to be spending thing, uh, good things on yourself. You're going to be taking care of your health. You're going to be taking care of uh, your social life, uh, your fashion, what you do in general, and your career. And you're going to be glowing and you're going to be taking on everything that you can and making yourself a better person. And you're going to be living life and enjoying things and rewarding yourself with whatever it is that you need, okay? So stay in that energy for now, Libra, and I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, uh, there'll be other readings coming out soon. So thanks for joining me tonight, and bye for now.